What's going on, guys? Today we're talking and comparing the two agitators for two popular solventless systems. So first off, we have the low temperature plates Osprey agitator, and then you have the Sambo Creek filtration Mescolatore agitator. Both of them are made from anodized aluminum. Uh, this machine is, this uh, agitator is uh, well machined. You can see the cut marks on the uh, CNC lines, but that is a non-issue. Um, it is an anodized aluminum, so it's food grade. It has a 65 degree, I think, um, pitch. To the angle of attack, it has four blades, a rounded top corner, um, rounded here, but not here because of the way this rests on the machine. And uh, this is screwed in to the uh, agitator on the bottom. And so this lies uh, flat on the bottom. One of the issues is that, uh, of course, biomass gets underneath here, trichomes get underneath here, and that, that, that creates an issue. But so you can get a perspective on size. Take a look at this. So obviously the mesclatore is uh, probably about 40% larger, I would say. Yeah, probably 40% larger. See if you guys can see that well. No, that's not helping either. But anyways, and then let me show you sideways. You can see the difference. So the mesclatore's angle of attack is a little shallower. We find that works better for us. We have five blades because the more blades you have to a degree, creates more uh, agitation, more more pumping, more power. And then the angle of attack is what we found works best. We did try the 65 degree angle and the 65 degree angle works, but for us, uh, our angle is a little bit better. And, and so uh, we sandblast this after we're done with the CNC to get rid of any of those marks that probably don't harm anything, but aesthetically, this looks better and it's probably going to give you less problems. Not that the craftsmanship on the CNC of this agitator is anything wrong, but we just do it that way and I think ours looks uh, nice. Um, and then, of course, this is a ginormous piece of uh, aluminum. I would say it weighs triple what the uh, other agitator weighs. And one of the cool things that we also have on this system is this here where these blades agitate the bottom and they create motion towards the sides and the bottom, pushing your trichomes into the tank bottom, false bottom. So that's the difference. More surface area, more blades, bigger is going to pump more and you're going to get more agitation in your system. And also because this is going to be raised off the bottom, not flat on the bottom, you have that pumping power that is sending your flow to the bottom and that will um, promote your trichomes moving to the false bottom. So the previous video was filmed last year and what we try to do is apply everything we learn to update our designs and to perfect our designs. And so the previous agitator that you saw was made of aluminum and then that aluminum was anodized to give it that black look. Now we reverted back to our original design and use polypropylene. Polypropylene is so much lighter and having such a heavy agitator was reducing the amount of flour we could put in the tank because it just took more energy to get this thing moving. So it was causing some strain in the motor, reducing the motor's capacity. So we reverted back to polypropylene. But more importantly, the big drawback that we saw with the aluminum was that 
Since our agitator has the ability to get closer to the biomass, we noticed that on the leading edge of the agitators, you would get trichomes popped and biomass sticking to the surface. This does not happen in some of the competitors' agitators because they're so far away from the, from the agitator that you don't even see that. But the type of aluminum that we chose, we're not sure if it was the metal itself that was causing trichomes to stick and that was causing the problem or if it was the proximity to the biomass that was causing that issue. Nonetheless, by switching over to polypropylene, which is our preferred material anyways, we reduced the weight significantly. It's still food safe. It uh, improves the performance of the motor and there are no longer any sticking issues. So I think that was a win-win uh, throughout. It's not so easy to manufacture these uh, agitators in polypropylene. It, it doesn't uh, CNC very well, but we got some great manufacturing partners. And I mean, look at this thing. It just looks amazing. So you can kind of see what we got going on. But you can see some of the lines, but I mean, it is smooth. You touch this thing, it is just paper smooth. Great work, great work. Yeah, so there you go. So we apply all of the knowledge that we learn and just consistently improve our designs. And I'm, I'm not one to shy away from saying we made a mistake. This can be done better, but the important part is that we do make the improvements to the designs and just continuously innovating in our products to get you guys something that is just more, more superior to anything else out there. So. I, hope you, I know that all of you guys are going to love this agitator. It is just phenomenal.